Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and press the bell icon for more new content that will make you pro hacker. Red teams and blue teams use password cracking to gain access to systems and to detect weak user passwords or test defenses during red team blue team exercises. Password crackers can be online or offline. Online password crackers such as Hydra are used when brute forcing online network protocols and HTML forms. One of the most potent tools in a security professional's arsenal is a password cracker known as John the Ripper. A popular offline password cracker is John the Ripper. This tool enables security practitioners to crack passwords, regardless of encrypted or hashed passwords, message authentication codes, MACs, and hash-based MACs, HMACs, or other artifacts of the authentication process. John the Ripper, often shortened to John, is a valuable resource for ethical hackers, penetration testers, and anyone serious about understanding and improving security. John is a fast and flexible password cracker, capable of testing millions of password combinations per second. It achieves this speed by employing various techniques, including dictionary attacks, brute force attacks, and hybrid approaches. These methods allow security professionals to simulate real-world attacks and identify weak points in their systems. The beauty of John lies in its versatility. It's freely available and compatible with various operating systems, making it an accessible tool for anyone interested in cybersecurity. However, it's within the specialized environment of Kali Linux, a Debian-based operating system designed for penetration testing and digital forensics, that John truly shines. This essay will guide you through the basics of John the Ripper, focusing on its installation, usage, and ethical considerations within the Kali Linux environment. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Our goal is to equip you with the knowledge to strengthen security, not to engage in illegal activities. Before we dive into the technicalities, let's take a closer look at what John the Ripper can do. John automates password cracking with incredible efficiency. It excels at cracking password hashes. A hash is a unique digital fingerprint of a password. John generates hashes from potential passwords and compares them to stored hashes. If a match is found, the password is cracked. John uses dictionary, brute force, and hybrid attacks. Simple passwords are easily cracked, highlighting the need for strong unique passwords. Understanding John's capabilities is crucial for ethical hacking and penetration testing. Simulating real-world attacks helps identify vulnerabilities and strengthen security. Now that we understand the power of John the Ripper, let's get it up and running on our Kali Linux system. One of the advantages of using Kali is that John often comes pre-installed. However, it's always a good practice to ensure we have the latest version. To check if John is installed, open your terminal and type John version. If John is installed, this command will display its version number. If not, don't worry. Installing it is a straightforward process. Update your Kali package list to ensure you're downloading the latest version of John sudo apt update. Once the update is complete, install John using the following command sudo apt install John. Kaylee will then download and install John the Ripper and any required dependencies. After the installation is complete, verify it again using the command. Congratulations! You now have John the Ripper installed on your Kali Linux system, ready to assist you in your ethical hacking endeavors. With John the Ripper successfully installed, it's time to put it through its paces. We'll start with a basic password cracking scenario to illustrate John's functionality. Remember, our goal is to understand how John works, not to encourage any malicious activity. For this example, we'll use a simple text file containing a list of password hashes. In a real-world scenario, you might obtain these hashes from captured network traffic or leaked databases. Create a text file named hashes.txt and paste the following lines into it. User $1 $6.salt hashed underscore password 1 User $2 $6.salt hashed underscore password 2 Replace hashed underscore password 1 and hashed underscore password 2 with actual password hashes. The $6 $6 indicates the hashing algorithm used, in this case, SHA-512. Now let's unleash John on our hashes.txt file. Navigate to the directory where you saved the file using the command, then execute the following command, John hashes.txt. John will start working its magic, attempting to crack the hashes in the file. The output will display the cracked passwords alongside the corresponding usernames. In this basic example, John likely cracked the passwords very quickly, especially if they were weak or common. Real-world scenarios can be more complex, 
involving stronger hashes and requiring longer cracking times. However, the fundamental principles remain the same. Section 5. The Power of Words. Choosing the right word list. Choosing the right word list can significantly increase your chances of success with complex passwords. A word list is a text file containing words, phrases, or character combinations used in dictionary attacks. The quality and relevance of your word list impact cracking speed and effectiveness. Popular choices like rocku.txt offer millions of passwords but can be cumbersome. Consider the target system when selecting a word list. Custom word lists tailored to specific targets can be more effective. Always ensure your actions are legal and ethical. Section 6. Walking the Tightrope – Ethical Considerations As we delve deeper into the world of password cracking, it's crucial to address the ethical implications of wielding such a powerful tool. While John the Ripper can be a valuable asset for security professionals, it's essential to use it responsibly and ethically. The primary ethical concern with password cracking is obtaining proper authorization. Cracking passwords without explicit permission from the system or data owner is illegal and unethical, regardless of your intentions. Before conducting any password cracking activities, ensure you have written permission from the relevant parties. This includes system administrators, network owners, or data custodians. Documenting this authorization is crucial to demonstrate that your actions were legal and ethical. Furthermore, it's vital to consider the potential impact of your actions. Even with proper authorization, cracking passwords can have unintended consequences. For example, if the target system stores sensitive personal information, a successful crack could lead to a data breach. Always weigh the risks and benefits before conducting any password cracking activities. If you're unsure about the ethical implications of a particular action, it's best to err on the side of caution and seek guidance from legal or ethical experts. Section 7. Beyond the Basics, Exploring Advanced Techniques While we've covered the fundamentals of John the Ripper, this versatile tool offers a wealth of advanced features and techniques for experienced users. Let's explore some of these capabilities. Expanding your password cracking arsenal. One powerful feature is John's support for custom rules. These rules allow you to define specific patterns and transformations to apply to words from your word list significantly increasing the effectiveness of dictionary attacks. For example, you can create rules to append common digits, substitute characters, or capitalize words in various combinations. Another advanced technique is the use of incremental mode. Instead of relying solely on word lists, incremental mode systematically tries all possible character combinations within a specified length. While this method can be time-consuming, it's often the only option for cracking strong randomly generated passwords. John also supports external mode, allowing you to utilize custom cracking modules and algorithms. This extensibility makes John a versatile tool, adaptable to various password hashing algorithms and security protocols. As you delve deeper into John's advanced features, remember that with great power comes great responsibility. Always prioritize ethical considerations and ensure your actions are legal and authorized. Section 8. Staying Ahead keeping up with John's development. The world of cybersecurity is constantly evolving and John the Ripper is no exception. New exploits are discovered, security measures are implemented and John's developers continually update the tool to keep pace with these changes. Staying abreast of John's latest developments is crucial for any security professional. New versions often include performance enhancements, support for additional hashing algorithms, and bug fixes. By using the most up-to-date version, you ensure you're equipped with the most effective tools for your ethical hacking endeavors. You can stay informed about John's development through various channels. The official John the Ripper website provides access to the latest source code, documentation, and release notes. Online forums and communities dedicated to cybersecurity are also valuable resources for news, tutorials, and discussions about John and other security tools. Remember the learning process never stops in the ever-changing landscape of cybersecurity. By actively seeking out new information and staying updated on John's development, you'll be well prepared to tackle the latest security challenges. Section 9. Responsible Cracking – A Final Word As we conclude our exploration of John the Ripper, it's essential to reiterate the importance of responsible and ethical usage. This powerful tool can be a valuable asset for security professionals, but it's crucial to wield it with caution and respect for the law and ethical principles. 
Always obtain proper authorization before conducting any password cracking activities. Understand the potential risks and consequences of your actions and prioritize the security and privacy of others. Remember the goal is to identify and mitigate vulnerabilities not to cause harm or violate trust. By embracing ethical hacking principles and using John the Ripper responsibly, you can contribute to a more secure digital world. Remember knowledge is power, but it's the ethical application of that knowledge that truly makes a difference.